Well, it looks like the federal Liberal government won't be forced into an election over carbon pricing, at least not for now. CTV National Scott Hurst is looking at that this morning. Scott, good morning. So the outcome may have mm -hmm. been expected. Talk about how it played out on Parliament Hill yesterday. Good morning, Jen. It may have played out as expected, but ultimately it ended up being hours of debate in the House of Commons on the issue of the carbon tax. And so that ultimately was part of the strategy. The vote, as expected, did not pass. The motion of non-confidence did not pass. Lawmakers had the chance to topple the Liberal minority government, but the confidence and supply agreement between the Liberals and the NDP helped keep the government alive and there won't be a carbon tax election. But for the Conservatives, it ended up being a full day of debate. Uh, multiple votes this week on the issue of the carbon tax and the tax increase coming up on April 1st of about 23% of the carbon tax and subsequent increases over the next several years. It kept the carbon tax issue and the upcoming tax increase in the headlines and forced the Liberals once again to go on the record to defend one of their marquee climate strategies and potentially pushing the NDP into a corner as they keep backing the Liberals to keep the government afloat and not going to a carbon tax election. And this tax increase, Jen, kicks in in less than two weeks' time. As I mentioned, a 23% increase where most Canadians will feel it in home heating and gasoline. It'll be about three more cents per litre for a tank of gas. And so this is where the uh, Conservatives have been really hammering away at the Liberals and crisscrossing the country, holding rallies on affordability and the carbon tax has been one of the key planks that they've focused on saying now's not the time for a tax increase now's not the time for Canadians to be forced to pay more as the Liberals continue to defend the policy saying there are rebate checks that will help offset a, a lot of the price and arguing that the price on carbon is working to combat climate change and in their defense also arguing yesterday painting the Conservatives as not having a climate plan. However, as I mentioned, Jen, it kept in the headlines all week as the Conservatives have continued to hammer away on the issue of affordability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's certainly a big issue. And Tony Chapman, uh, Chatter That Matters podcast host, joined us earlier to talk about, you know, hierarchy and Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's mm -hmm. hard to think about, you know, tackling climate change when people are trying to put food on the table. Right. CTV National, Scott Hurst reporting live for us. Thank you, Scott.